I have listened, touched to hundreds of pieces of hi-fi, and today we're going to be talking about the Duke Audio C100. What is it? I don't even know if I know. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this piece of mystery hi-fi equipment and whether or not it's for you. So when I sat down to do this video, I have this lightning cable, which connects my camera to my computer. When I looked down, it was submerged in my coffee because it's, I'd leave it connected to my computer so it's easy to hook my camera up when I do Zoom meetings for my Patreon or live streams. Um, so now I'm a little bit nervous because it was submerged in coffee. Duke Audio. Well, Duke Audio is a manufacturer from China. They have a lot of good products. They have a lot of unique products, and this one today is especially unique. Many of their products are very similar to IEMA. However, they generally have their own vibe, and they were one of the first companies to use VU meters. Well, not the first. They were one of the cheap Chinese manufacturers that started putting VU meters on a whole bunch of their products. They also have a whole line of switchers. Frankly, I've used one of their switchers. Frankly, I've used one of their switchers, switch, switchers to simply get VU meters in one of my systems because they have one that you can do amp switching and you can do speaker switching, but most importantly of all, it's got a pair of very large VU meters that is just fun to look at. It comes in around $130, I think. VU1, I believe, is the model number. But you're not here to talk about that. You're here to talk about this. Let's get to know the C100 a little bit better from Duke Audio. Build quality. Surprisingly, it's really good. This thing is pretty much entirely made out of, it is made out of metal. On the front, you have a little plate that kind of sticks out a little bit further than the case. You have two VU meters and you can adjust the sensitivity right here with these two screws. Four little feet. I feel like there's, I feel like that's like a nursery rhyme or something. Four little feet. Stomping through the mud in the meadow. I'm making that up. I don't really think that's the thing. On the top, you have buttons. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five buttons. <laughs> They're made out of metal. They're pretty good. Satisfying clicky clicky. A little bit <laughs> wobbly in here, but I... I don't know what we should expect. $200 is what this mystery machine comes in at. Mystery machine, Scooby-Doo. And you have the power, back track, front track, up, down, as far as the menu goes, a go back button, and then a menu button. If you haven't guessed by now, this is a streamer. A streamer, but it's way more complicated than that. What's on the back? On the back, um, it's interesting. So you have an SD card slot over here. It came with an SD card. However, I chose to use my own SD card because I didn't want to get Stuxnet on my computer or something. We're going to get to why I would need to put the SD card that they included in my computer anyway. Next to that, you have a USB. USB-A input. Then you have outputs. You have an optical output, a coaxial output, RCA outputs, and then an additional auxiliary output. I'm assuming for another analog device. Here's the interesting thing though. You may be able to hook up a subwoofer to that because there is volume control on this piece. There's a joke in there. And then it takes 12 volts DC. One interesting thing about the SD card slot, see if I can show it to you. Oh, like on cameras and maybe certain SD card readers, you take the SD card and then you push it in 
and it kind of clicks in. You can feel it click in. Normally, you have to click it out, but we can watch, click it in. <laughs> you just pull, pull it out. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a spring loose in there or something. Finally, let's talk about how this thing works and what it even is. This, my friends, is a streamer in parentheses. It's not really a streamer. This is really a digital music player. It streams nothing. <laughs> there are no antennas on here. There is no Wi-Fi. There is no Bluetooth. There is no Apple AirPlay. There is no Chromecast. There is no wireless technology at all in this. So what one does is they take all of their digital music from a computer generally, and they copy it to a <laughs> SD card or something like an external hard drive. It can also play DSD files. So this is the point where Duke Audio starts to alienate a huge portion of their audience because who actually plays their music this way? I know there's gonna be some, and if you do play your music that way, I am not bashing on you. I am talking about the majority of the people out there that are currently listening to digital music. Most of us are using streamers. So we use an application that brings in one of our streaming services of choice, like Amazon Music, like Tidal, like Cobas, like Pandora sometimes. Is that even a thing? Yeah, I think Pandora is. XM Radio, iHeart Radio, Bandcamp, there's a ton, Deezer, there's a ton of streaming services out there. And most people are going to be getting something like this, a Weem Pro or a Weem Mini. This is $150. This is $200. And it has a DAC in it. What is it? I have no idea. I looked at the description. I could not find what DAC chip is used in here. So... I don't even know what to say. I, I mean, I wish this thing had streaming capabilities. I know that Weem sells just the boards, so they could have integrated a Weem Mini, Weem Player, Weem Streamer in this thing. I guess I'll show you the display. To be fair, this display is actually not unusable. It's, what, two inches by about two inches. So you can see it, I mean, if you're somewhat close to it. If you have eyesight like mine and you're more than five feet away, it's going to be just some pretty lights. Not really going to be able to tell what it is. It does come with a remote control, though. And with this remote control, you can find your tracks and uh, control the volume. I wish it didn't have volume control, or at least you could turn the volume control off. I did dig into the menus a little bit, but I could not find a selection where I could just turn off the volume control and run volume off of my amplifier or my headphone amp or anything like that. I like to have a full digital signal. I don't like to adjust volume on a digital signal because sometimes that crashes the resolution. And one of the features is that this plays high-res music, but you don't want to control volume into the digital domain. I think it's gotten better, but I'd rather take the insurance and control my volume on my amplifier or headphone amp or in an analog fashion. I want full resolution pumping out of this baby into my DAC or using the DAC in here, which is a mystery DAC, remember? Mystery machine, mystery DAC. Anyway, you plug an SD card in here. I didn't use an external hard drive. Again, I did not want to get stuck in that. If you have your folders selected correctly, you would click on maybe the artist folder and then within the artist folder you would click the album folder and there may be a way just to randomly select all of your music play it in whatever order this thing sees fit it's fairly straightforward though so who's this product for unfortunately i don't think this product is for many people it's not a bad piece of equipment it's kind of interesting visually very interesting it works like a champ I just don't know how many people actually listen to their music this way. And there are probably people out there. And if you don't want to do streaming, you don't have a subscription to Amazon Music, to Tidal, to Deezer, Cobuzz, don't have a network attached storage device, 
you just have all of your music on your computer or a hard drive and you don't want to mess around with any of that, then this could actually be a very good option. I think it's overpriced at $200. However, if you don't want to depend on Wi-Fi technology and you have all your music digitized, this may be the product for you. Personally, it's not really for me. I have my music on a NAS. And then I use a Weem to pull that music in if I want to listen to it. However, if my internet goes down, I'm kind of host. Whereas if my internet goes down and I have this thing and I have all my music on a hard drive, then I'm okay. And I do have all my music actually on a hard drive. So if I lost my Wi-Fi, I could use this to play all my digital music. I feel like this product is something that maybe 10 or even 20 years ago could have been really cool and really useful. I think right now the target market for this, the people that would actually be interested in this is very small compared to the rest of the audio enthusiasts out there that are looking for an affordable digital music player. The use case scenario for this is pretty slim, but if that's your use case scenario, this is a pretty cool product and I don't know if there's any other products out there quite like this that will do the same thing with VU meters, a decent little screen, and look kind of cool. I have no problem with this product. It's easy to use, it looks good, I just don't think many people need it. Even on some CD players, there is a USB drive input, so you could do the same thing with a CD player, and then guess what? You also have a CD player. It's kind of confusing why this product exists, but if you're in the minority and that's something that you want, then it's cool that it exists. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms, patron only Discord, patron only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description. Most of those links are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. You can also use the thanks button down at the bottom of the video. Buy me a cup of coffee, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. And you can also sign up for Amazon Music, Rune, or Tidal. Links in the description. Click, sign up. There is a trial period. Even if you quit, I still get a couple of dollars. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen. So if you have all your music on a hard drive or an external hard drive and you don't believe in streaming services, get the C100 from Duke Audio and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.